Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks so much for stopping by Books and Jams. It is time today to do another shelf spotlight. This month in December, I'm going to highlight all of the collections of short stories that I have on my shelves. It is the time of year when I start thinking about what are my goals going to be in the coming upcoming year. And one of my goals for 2023 is going to revolve around short stories. I will talk more specifically about the goal when I do my goals video for the next year. But for today, I'm just going to share with you my collections that I have of books that have short stories in them. I think I got all of them. These are the ones I'm going to be focusing on for next year. So often when I do a shelf spotlight, I highlight books that I've read already and books that are on my TBR. None of these have been read already today. I am not sharing with you any short story collections that I have already read. It's just going to be ones that I've not yet read. So let's just jump right in. The first set that I have are all mystery short stories. The first is going to be Sherlock Holmes. So I have this kind of older collection of a bunch of different short stories, The Complete Adventures and Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, The Return of Sherlock Holmes, and The Hound of the Baskervilles. I have this, but I also just recently hauled this box set from Book Outlet, which has many of those in it as well. So I'm not sure I'm going to keep that big old one. It might just more be for decoration, but I'll probably actually read from these ones. So we have His Last Bow, which I'm not sure if that's a short story, The Return of Sherlock Holmes, Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, and Sherlock Holmes, A Study in Scarlet, and The Sign of the Four. So it does sound like there are some in that green book that are not included in this set, but I like, I like that all these will be matching. It's not actually a box. It's just a piece of paper. But yeah, so I have all these Sherlock Holmes ones. I'm really excited. I have probably read a Sherlock Holmes here and there when I was much younger, but it's been quite a while. So I'm really looking forward to those. For some more mysteries, I picked up this at a, at a yard sale a couple of years ago, and it was only a dollar. <laughs> and I was thrilled because it's in perfect condition. And this is Agatha Christie, 50, more than 50 stories with Hercule Poirot as the, as the uh, detective. So the complete short stories of Hercule Poirot. So I'm really looking forward to reading some of those. I'm excited that there are more than 50 in there. Can dive in and out of that book. And then very recently I picked up this Virginia is for Mysteries volume three from a little book fair that I went to near my house. And this has, I think, 18 different stories in it. It's a teeny tiny collection, so they're probably very short. And I met two of the authors. They signed their story that are in here. So have those mysteries as well, which are probably a little bit more contemporary, whereas the other ones might be a little older feeling. But that's it for mysteries. Then I have some, well, I have a few that I really know n very little about. This one was gifted to me by Melinda. This is The Hidden Light of Objects by Mai El Nakib. And I believe these all take place in the Middle East in Kuwait. 20, it looks like there are 20 short uh, stories and things in here. So these I'm excited because I do like books that take place in the Middle East. So that should be really good. I have here... These ones, Reader I Married Him, is edited by Tracy Chevalier, who is a literary fiction author. These are all going to revolve around the story of Jane Eyre. 21 stories inspired by Jane Eyre, it says. Edited by Tracy, originally commissioned for Charlotte Bronte's Bicenta Bicentenary. This collection brings together some of the finest and most creative voices in fiction. So I'm excited. I don't even know who, who are some of the authors in here. Let's see. Audrey Niffenegger, who wrote The Time Traveler's Wife. I recognize Tracy Chevalier. I don't recognize Alif Shafak is in here. I recognize that. Emma Donahue. I don't recognize most of the names, but I'm excited to, to read some kind of Jane Eyre inspired short stories. That should be fun. Here's another one that I just picked up at a library sale, I, I believe, that, or a little free library or something. And again, I know nothing about it. It's called Hotel of the Saints, stories by the author of Stones from the River, Ursula Heggie not familiar with that at all. It looks like there are 11 short stories. Again, this is very little. So 
the stories will probably be very short, which we'll see. The thing is, I don't know if I love short stories, but I'm determined to discover that throughout the course of 2023. The last three that I have are relatively kind of classic feel to them, I think. They feel like classics. Well, Jane Austen, Sanditon, and other stories. This has Sanditon, Lady Susan, and the Watsons. So they're not super short. Probably they could be classified as novellas, I guess, but I'm keeping them in this pile anyway. I've never read any of those Jane Austen books, so I'm looking forward to that. Then I have recently hauled this one, The Collected Stories of Eudora Welty. This was a National Book Award winner. A couple of you in the comments when I hauled this said that you read this or had to read some in high school or back in the day and that makes me excited when I hear that you've read them and liked them. I'm not going to try to count. There are like three pages of table of contents here. So there are quite a few different collections with stories within them. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to checking out Eudora Welty. And the final collection of short stories that I have are the complete stories of Flannery O'Connor. I'm also looking forward to these ones. I don't know, I feel like Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space and others have read some Flannery O'Connor as as group reads and I never joined in on that but I wished that I had and I'm just I'm looking forward to trying out some of her short stories as well there's a long introduction I don't feel like I'm gonna have to start at the beginning of these and read straight through I can kind of dive in anywhere because they are short stories they they don't connect with each other from what I understand Ooh, I got them all sweet so here is my stack of short stories that I will be diving into throughout the course of 2023. I would love to know what you think about any of these. I do have a couple that I'm not showing here. Within the last month or so, I showed all of my Christmas books and I do have a handful of Christmas books that have short stories in them as well. Um, one that's related to Charles Dickens and then one that are just a bunch of classic authors writing classic Christmas stories. So those will probably get read next December. But these I'm going to try to read a good chunk, at least a little bit out of each one throughout the year. So I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm I'm exploring a new side of reading than what I've read since college. Probably I don't think I've read any short stories or not many, I'll say. But I would love to know, have you read a lot of short stories? Are they something that you work into your reading on a regular basis? Do you have any favorite short story authors or collections that I should look into and look for on Pango Books or library sales or whatever? I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super curious to hear your thoughts about short stories. And that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. I can't wait to talk to you down in the comments. And I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon. Bye. Thank you.